I tested the concentration of the antifreeze slash coolant in my car with this ball type hydrometer. Only two balls floated, indicating that the mixture was only good for a maximum low temperature of 5 degrees Fahrenheit. I had always heard that hydrometers were not very accurate, so I was skeptical about the reading. I made a 50 50 mix of antifreeze and distilled water and tested that with a hydrometer. And I got the same result. My plain Jane green antifreeze with a 50 50 mix is supposed to test at negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit. I needed a new tester and decided to try something that's supposed to be more accurate. I bought a refractometer. This is the cheap version. It was a little under $20. The higher end ones could cost you around $60 to $90. The refractometer uses a prism to determine the concentration of the antifreeze slash coolant. A hydrometer measures relative density based on a concept of buoyancy. Neither one of these devices will test the additives in the antifreeze coolant that protect against corrosion or provide lubricant for the water pump. Over time, those additives break down and you'll need to replace the antifreeze coolant. These only test for the correct ratio of water and coolant. A hand refractometer doesn't need any power. The prism is pointed towards a strong light and you look through the eyepiece. As you look through the eyepiece, you can see that this is specific to automotive. On the left, there's a scale to measure battery electrolyte. The middle scale measures ethylene glycol and propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is often found in home heating systems, and ethylene glycol is often found in automotive antifreeze coolant. And if you look to the right, you can measure the density of windshield wiper fluid. Take note, at the bottom, there's a horizontal line that's marked borderline. I have some distilled water, a sample of the antifreeze coolant from my radiator, and a 50-50 mix of antifreeze coolant and distilled water. All of my samples are at the same temperature as the instrument. I wouldn't get crazy about being super precise. Really, we only want to be close to whatever ratio of distilled water and antifreeze coolant that you want. You can be a few percentage off in your ratio. The main thought is to keep the instrument and the fluids that you're testing at the same temperature. Large temperature differences in swings will affect accuracy. The first step is to calibrate the refractometer with distilled water. Calibration is supposed to be done at a room temperature of 68 degrees. This one has automatic temperature compensation, ATC. After calibration, the instrument can be moved to temperatures of 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Flip up the cover plate, put a couple of drops of distilled water onto the prism. Gently run your finger back and forth to spread out the liquid and it should be evenly spread out on the prism. There shouldn't be any bubbles or empty places. If calibrated correctly, the area below the horizontal water line will be white. If not, turn the adjusting screw until it's aligned as shown in the picture. The refractometer comes with a very soft cloth. Be careful not to scratch the prism. Let's dry the uh, distilled water off. They can kind of shake some of it off. It'll roll off. Uh, then uh, gently dry, it, dry everything off. As you're cleaning off whatever you're testing, uh, take care not to get any of the uh, liquids back on this part of the instrument. Uh, it could seep inside and destroy it. I'll test the 50-50 mix.
wait 30 seconds after you put a sample on the prism before you check the eyepiece. It's about 39 degrees centigrade. That converts to 38.2 Fahrenheit. Uh, that's pretty good for a 50-50 mix. Uh, the container says 34 degrees Fahrenheit. And I wasn't super precise in my 50-50 mix, and it was a small sample. I'll rinse the prism and the cover plate off with some distilled water. Always rinse the prism and the face plate off with distilled water. You don't want any cross-contamination. Here's the radiator sample. It's negative 46 degrees Celsius. That's about negative 50.8 Fahrenheit. A 70% antifreeze and 30% water mix is good for negative 84 degrees. That's the max mix ratio, so I'm within spec. That's how you use a refractometer to check the mix of your antifreeze coolant. I hope you find this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.